Hey drummers, hope you're well. Shout out to Andrew who was asking about this. This is a course, the iconic groove from Black Velvet by Alana Miles. Uh, it goes like this. It's credited to Jean or John Anderson, and it's a really lovely thing. At its heart, it is a, like a triplet feel or 12-8 feel, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, if you count it as triplets, with the snare on the two and the four and the kick on the one and the three. So classic, as I say, triplet feel or 12-8 feel. Triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. But the magic is in the accents. Now it goes accent, not accent, accent, not accent, all the way. So if you think of like a rock beat, you know, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and like you would do there, where you hit the you know shaft of the stick on the shoulder of the so the shoulder of the stick on the edge of the hi hat, one and two and three and four and on the accents and the tip of the stick on the top on the not accents, one and two and three and four and using a molar esque whip. But the interesting thing here is because you're playing triplets, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, the accents are gonna fall on the one, miss out the trip, hit the let, miss out the two, hit the trip, miss out the let, and then you restart again on three. I'm just gonna play the hi-hat part for a bit and I'll just count that. Remember your overall count is one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four, here it comes. One trip, let two triplet, three trip, I'll slow it down, four triplet, one trip, let two triplet, three trip, let four triplet, one trip, let two triplet, three trip, let four triplet. So you're playing triplets as the rhythm, but it's accent, not accent. It's really interesting, isn't it? With the bass and the snare, that would give you one trip, let two triplet, three trip, let four, here they come. One trip, let two triplet, three trip, let four triplet, one trip, let two triplet, three trip, let four triplet. Now what you might notice there is the snare drum lands with an unaccented note, and that's fine, you can play it like that. One trip, let, two trip, let, three trip, let, four trip, let, one trip, let, two trip, let, three trip, let, four trip, let. That's totally cool. What I like to do with the groove like this, just personally, is actually just leave the unaccented note out altogether when the snare drum hits, like this. I'll do, that, I'll do that more slowly. One trip, let, two trip, let, three trip, let, four trip, let, one trip, let, two trip, let. One trip, let, two trip, let, three trip, let, four trip. Let. It's really cool, isn't it? It gives you that ching, ching, catching, ching, ching, catching, ching, ching, catching all the way. Now, somebody will say it, I'll beat you to it. Oh, it's like everybody wants to rule the world by tears for fears. No, it isn't. It's actually like the opposite of that. So I can see the similarities. That is also a triplet or 12 8 feel. The difference there is it goes not accent and accent. So whereas this groove, black velvet, goes accent, not accent, accent, not accent on the hi hat. One trip, let two triplet. Three trip, let four triplet. Uh, everybody wants to rule the world goes one triplet, two trip, let three triplet, four triplet. And in fact, in the classic way of playing that, it doesn't even have unaccented notes, it's just the accented notes. couple of videos about that groove I'll link to below on the below the YouTube vid version of this video anyway if you're interested in that uh, so that's that uh, some other things you could do that is quite challenging I think it 
it's quite challenging, I think, but it does feel and sound great. Um, some other things you could do is a bit like I was saying with everybody wants to rule the world, you could just play the accented notes. might present his own challenge, but you could just do that. You could play it as a shuffle. And two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Um, or you could just play it as like straight eighth notes with a triplet feel. But none of those things quite feel right, do they? For me, like to get it absolutely spot on, to feel just like that, Majestic bit of drumming by Jorn Anderson. Uh, it needs those accents in place. One time again. Uh, one other thing on this, I did notice in some live versions, uh, which are from a while back now, admittedly, the drummer is playing open hi-hat bursts where the accents would be. So he's playing. Which I thought was a, a bold move and was kind of cool. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I dig it. I think I'd probably say to my ears that version on the, on the on the record is is the classic just accenting so i hope that makes sense shout out to andrew's working on this it's one of those grooves it is a basic straightforward straight uh you know triplet feel but with those accents in place does really elevate it to the next level i think as ever on the channel members page just now i'll put the full notation and groove scribe for that i'll do the version just with the hi-hat as well because you might want to sit with that a little bit first and just get a feel for one triplet two triplet three triplet triplet one triplet two triplet three triplet four triplet remember triplets is just a rhythm idea it's nothing to do with the sticking it's nothing to do with how the accents go triplets are just one triplet two triplet three triplet four triplet in fact triplet means three notes in the space of where you would expect to by default according to the time signature fine too so don't be distracted people say things like oh i thought triplets were always right left right left right left no, no nothing like that triplets just means one triplet two triplet three triplet four triplet they're three in the space of two in the sense that they're eighth notes, regular eighth notes, not triplets. We go one and two and three and four and. So these triplets go one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, three in the place of where you had every two before. Like I said, you could alternatively write this as straight eighth notes in 12-8. Also videos about type of signatures, which I'll link below if you like. Shout out to Andrew and uh, Jorn Anderson for that amazing bit of drumming. Uh, for all the world, actually, I always thought this was programmed. It, I mean, the kick and the snare, I guess it was the 80s, but it's, it, like, it sounds almost like drum machine, doesn't it? Maybe it's just amazing, an amazing bit of playing. But a great drum part. Love it. Thanks for watching, as always. See you soon.